Well, I understand uh, some of you at home are getting uh, the correct pictures. 12 minutes, nearly 13 minutes on the clock now. In this uh, Istanbul half marathon. And the uh, leaders pouring on the pace. Just checking the uh, 4K time for the men's race. And it was 10.46. They're still heading for something just below 57 minutes, the projected time. The last kilometre, the fourth kilometre, was 2.40. So the kilometre split so far have been 244, 240, 243 and 240. It is insanely fast, world record tempo without any doubt in this uh, Enkola Istanbul half marathon. And it does make you wonder just how uh, far long they will be able to keep up this tempo. They've gone through 5K, wait for it, in 13.39. Well, this is astonishing. Mind you, Jacob Kiblimo in uh, the Razel Kaima half marathon a month ago went through 5K. I think it was in 13.23, something even more in unbelievable. But uh, they are moving at 57.35 projected tempo now. So that is uh, just about on world record pace. race by the way as we see this uh, trio which has broken down very quickly indeed I cannot believe well I can I suppose when you see the pace they're moving at that that explains why they has broken down to such a small group but in the women's race they went through uh, 3k in 840 again that's projecting a time I mean incredibly fast down there around 61 minutes and uh, at 5k the women on 1443 projected time is 62.05 now that women's world record but let's just send back to Gide 62.52 was set in Valencia last uh, October and that was uh, a record that just blew everybody's minds and uh, the course record at least today of Chep and Getic from last year 64.02 looks to be in severe danger Well, you can see just how fantastic the conditions are here. The athletes are, are way past 5K in this men's race. They are now heading up towards uh, the Galata Bridge, where they will take a, a right-hand turn. Uh, and at the northern end of the bridge, over the Golden Horn, that's a tributary to the Bosphorus, they make a, a left-hand U-turn. They drop down a little bit there. Actually, it's the, the biggest uh, drop or adjustment in elevation in the entire race because they hug this road alongside the Bosphorus and then the Golden Horn tributary beside the water and you're guaranteed I guess it's not rocket science a, uh, a level road surface this is it, this is where they turn right you can see uh, so many of the great mosques of this city in the background when you look at the horizon in this city you can see probably 10 or 15 mosques around you they're, they're everywhere, it is quite glorious this is the uh, Galata Bridge uh, and they head over this for a few hundred meters before making a, a left-hand turn at the far end I don't know if at this point they'll be able to see the the Galata Tower one of the most famous features of the skyline of uh, the city but this tempo surely is not sustainable I am absolutely staggered at the pace they're moving at gone through 6k in 16.17 the last kilometer 2.38 gives them a projected time of 57.14 that uh, again would be well inside the world record and the old walls of uh, Istanbul well they are quite majestic the old city walls built uh, in the 8th century BC originally 27 towers along the six kilometers of the walls that are still a uh, in reasonable tact. Lots of it is in, in ruins, but it is a, a wonderful feature, historic feature of the city. Well, the Galata Tower is uh, not in view there, but it's located in the uh, just to the north of the Galata Bridge in the Karakoy district. The city history, by the way, goes back 8,000 years, so it's one of those cities where you walk through a sort of network, a web of 
modern and old. This is them coming back over the Galata Bridge, heading uh, southwards now. They'll take a right-hand turn at the bottom end of the bridge and then head take a right. That big bridge you can see in the background is the Ataturk 